Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in New Game Plus with one of the most overpowered and fun katana builds you can create to start the DLC as much powerful as it's possible. A few months ago, I uploaded a video showcasing the max performance of the Rivers of Blood against all bosses as I like to do with the best weapons of the game. And even though you love that video, plenty of you guys told me that the Naga Kiba with Blood Flame Blade will outperform the Rivers of Blood in multiple scenarios. Initially, I was like, no, I don't think so because the Rivers of Blood was going wild on that playthrough but after reflecting a little bit, I thought, how can we craft an Agakiba build that is even more powerful than the Rivers of Blood? The first thing we have to understand is that the playstyle will be pretty much the same. Both both weapons have remarkable differences that we need to know very well in order to be able to craft a build as powerful as the Rivers of Blood one. The main difference will be the stats distribution. The Rivers of Blood scales mainly with Dexterity and Arcane, and the Nagakiba scales really good with Dexterity when using the Kin Affinity. But how does Blood Flame Blade actually work? Despite of being capable of building up bleed, this in Incantation doesn't scale at all with Arcane. It is a little bit obvious since it only asks for 10 points on Arcane, so Blood Flame Blade scales directly with Fate and deals fire damage. This fire damage can be boosted with the Fire Scorpion Charm and the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear, and it has an special effect that can be considered as a debuff that applies a total of 40 bleed buildup over the course of 2 seconds after hitting the enemy, which means that you can proc bleed even when you are not making direct contact with your target. If you hit your enemy multiple times, those hits will stack building up bleed massively on time, and if your weapon has already a passive bleed effect like the Nagakiba, then you are going to be dealing a ridiculous amount of damage in just a few seconds. The Rivers of Blood has a similar passive effect, but these flames will not build up bleed over time. However, the Rivers of Blood has a projectile part when performing Corpse Spiller. This will help to increase the effective range of this weapon. Anyways, I don't think the range will be a problem for the Nagakiba, which is the longest katana of the entire game. With that being said, the main difference here will be that the Rivers of Blood can be obtained only after defeating Morgoth, and on the other hand, you can start crafting this build very early on the game. You will get the Nagakiba by defeating Yura near to the seaside ring side of Grace in Lingrave, and Bloodflame Blade will be dropped by this carab that is located close to the Rose Church in Liorna of the Lakes. I will say that both builds are really good, but we will see if this Nagakiba setup is better than the Rivers of Blood at the end of this video. First of all, I'm going to show you the build, and then we will be the major boss of the game without taking a single hit. We are going to be using the Nagakiba on plus 25 with the double slash Ash of War on the Kin Affinity, and we need the God Slayer Seal to increase the potential of Bloodflame Blade and to cast our main boss. You can use any armor set you like, but I will be using the white grid set with the iron casa to keep this eastern style I like a lot. The best talismans we can choose for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Shard of Alexander, the Rodent Windsor Insignia, and the Lord of Blood's Exultation. However, the Millicent's Prosthesis and the Fire Scorpion Charm are great alternatives if you are missing one of these talismans or if you want to replace one of them. In our flask of wondrous physique, the Thorny Crack Tear and the Flame Shrouding Crack Tear are going to be extremely effective. However, the Green Spill Crystal Tear or the Stone Barb Crack Tear are very good options as well. This build devours stamina like crazy, so don't forget your pickle turtle legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. The most optimal stats for this build are Forion, Vigor and Endurance. We need to level up Strength to 18, Dexterity to 80, Fate to 60, and we need 10 on Arcane. Golden Vow, Hall of Shabriri, and Blood Flame Blade are going to be our main buffs. And considering the high fate level of this build, we are able to use a lot of incantations, so feel free to use them as much as you wish. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss? Fights. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. One, two, he's coming, he gotta, he gotta attack me. Nice. That one works out. Right? That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> I'm coming for you, Godric. You better be ready for this. Oh. Why don't you hit that boy? Boom. Oh -hoo -hoo -hoo. You are not going to any place. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's faster, but it is definitely really good. <laughs> nice. You don't have to dodge it, though. Let's go crazy with it. Oh. It's really a bit that I don't know if it's faster or not, but I don't think it matters, so it's a really broken weapon. <laughs> great, that's a great RNG right there. Come on, quickly. Let's go. Hey there, Renala. I'm your friend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a fast kill indeed, bro. He's not ready for us, guys. He's not prepared for the for the main combo of this weapon. Boom. 
Oh, oh, he's not ready. He's not even close to be ready, baby. Wow, this is a fast weapon. <laughs> he's not ready, guys. I can feel it. He's not ready. Come on. Boom. Oh. oh. Goodbye. No way. Just the right amount of stamina, bro. <laughs> I was running out of it. <laughs> oh, you are too gold, bro. You are looking great. Oh, that was close, actually. Oh, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna play it. Oh, I played it very well, bro. Huh. Come on. Nice. Come on. This is it. Oh, let's go! <laughs> nice, guys. Wow, that was insane, bro. <laughs> That was very interesting, bro. No way. Oh my god. That was very strange. Come on. Give me some real damage numbers, baby. Oh, yeah. Baby, no! Oh, <laughs> nice! That was a great kill, bro. <laughs> Close. Well, it's up, buddy. Nice. Nice. There we go. We are ready, bro. Come on, let's begin. And we run him, bro. <laughs> oh, he's going wild. He's going crazy with me. Come on. And let's begin. And let's begin again. Come on. It's over for you. Amazing, baby. <laughs> that was a really, really clean boss fight, guys. There she is, guys. Come on. Oh. No way. Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go! <laughs> wow, baby! Let's go crazy, guys. Come on. This is it, Malenia. This is my round. Wow. With a light attack, we break her stance. That's insane. Come on. This is it. Wow. <laughs> no way. That's dirty. We play her dairy, bro. <laughs> I'll take it, guys. It was amazing. Come on. Nice, are they close enough? Ooh, they are really close, guys. Okay, I will explain the buff routine. First, use Golden Vow, which is your aura buff, then Pickle Turtle Legs, completely optional. I like to use it. Your Flask of Physic, then use Blood Flame Blade, and then use Hall of Shabriri. A little bit far, far from them, so you don't wake them up. Now, to hand your weapon and refill your FP, and you're ready to go. Let's try to beat them both at the same time. So, I have a, a, a very good idea for that. We use this, and let's go again. Let's go crazy, guys. Come on, let's go! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Oh my god! <laughs> Come on. Oh, he's going wild on me. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. This is a close encounter, actually. Nice. Okay, this is ours, guys. This is ours.
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> amazing, guys. Very good. Hey there, homie. Look what I have for you today. It's amazing. Let's do it. Oh, let's go, baby. Okay, man. Show me what you can do. Nice. Crazy guys. Come on. Come on, baby. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god. <laughs> that is indeed a lot of damage, baby. Let's go, crazy. Give it to me! Come on, baby! <laughs> what an amazing build we have here, guys! We got this move. There you are. Take this. Boom, baby. Say goodbye. Come on, man. Tail attack. Let's go, baby. This has to be the good one, guys. I'll try to not miss this one, promise. I'm not gonna miss this one. I'm gonna miss this one. I'm not gonna miss this one. I'm telling you guys, I'm not gonna miss this time. Come on. Whoa, that was insane, bro! <laughs> Okay, what are you gonna do, bro? Let's go! <laughs> uh, this guy is always a problem, boss, bro. Come on, it's possible guys. We got this. Let's go, baby. It can be done better, but we did it, bro. <laughs> That's all I care, man. 